everyone, it's Sherry Carroll for SimonSaysStamp.com with a beginner series video for you on heat embossing. Heat embossing is still really popular and there are so many embossing powders on the market. So I'm going to show you a few things you need. This is a clear ink pad from Simon Says Stamp and that is a, an embossing pad. So it's clear, heavy ink. You also need some type of embossing powder. And then you also need a heat source, and I like to use the old-fashioned heat gun because these get really hot and melt the powders really nicely. So I'm going to be embossing this Merry Christmas stamp onto some red cardstock, and I'm going to use some silver ink. So I'm using my Mini Misty here, and I have my stamp in place, and I have the Simon Says Stamp silver embossing powder and my red cardstock. Before I stamp, I do like to treat my paper with either a powder or my pouch, and this helps remove all the static or any of the oils that you might have from your fingers. So I'm just going to run this pouch over the area in which I'm going to stamp, and I like to go over a few times and just make sure I have enough of the powder that's within the pouch. So once I have that done, I'm going to go ahead and use my clear ink, and I'm going to ink up my stamp. And while I'm doing that, I wanted to let you know you can use any pigment ink. Pigment ink will hold on to the powder so that you can do your heat embossing. I happen to like the clear ink along with colored embossing powders. Okay, so now I have that inked up and I'm going to go ahead and close the door on my Misty. And now I'm going to press this down in place. I like to use my fingers just to give a nice even pressure to make sure I have all the areas of that stamp pressed down. When I open this up, you can see that I have my image because of a watermark that that clear ink does. But I have missed one little area of my C and on the left side of the Mary. So I just went ahead and added a little bit more ink. And now I can press that down again because this is a stamp positioner. And now I have a perfect image. So I'm going to go ahead and remove my paper from the Misty and get ready for my silver embossing powder. I don't use silver all the time, so I don't have a container for it, but for my catch, I just use a piece of paper that is folded in half, and now I can just go ahead and pour my embossing powder right onto my cardstock. And I'll give this a quick inspection to make sure I don't have any extra embossing powder on there. If I do, I can go ahead and remove it with a little paintbrush or a poke tool. So to put my embossing powder back in the jar, I just fold that paper up and pour that right back in. So I'm using the old Milwaukee gun for the heat because it has concentrated heat at the tip. And I like to heat this up with my hand first, especially when I'm using a metallic type of embossing powder. And so once that is hot, now I can go ahead and start with a swirling motion, just go ahead and start heating up that embossing powder. So embossing powder is basically plastic. And so once the heat sets in, it melts that to that really nice shiny silver. So this is super gorgeous and it's really easy to do heat embossing. I hope I've given you some helpful tips and tricks to have successful heat embossing for this beginner series. And as always, thanks so much for watching.